I'm done! I am sick of these pirates doing whatever they think they can around here. I'm gonna get to the bottom of all this. Oh, same as you've been hitting the sauce. Welcome back to Metroid Prime. These pirates, these pirates are doing bad <laughs> to the environment. And, I, and I've had it. I've had it. I'm done with it. Like setting off Apple notifications. <laughs> Gets a message from a space pirate. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> Blind rage. So over here is the is the ruined or uh for gate. Mm -hmm. Beyond here is where uh, the the ship at the beginning of the game crashed. Oh right, that did happen. The pirates have basically repurposed it. They, they're oh hey, no, we're still using this. So does this happen over time, or is this as soon as you get here? They've been doing it over time, but uh, we can go in there now because we have two things we need to get in there. We have the gravity suit, which can allow us to jump around in the water like this and grab this missile expansion. Ah, great. And we have the ice beam so we can actually get inside. Well, this just seems like a win, 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 win. Yeah, there's only one lose, and that's the space pirates. <laughs> Kick down the door. Roar! <laughs> So, at, by the end of this, we're going to get to the the big, the, the big area. This is uh, where the pirates have set up camp and where they're doing all of their bad shit. Okay. We gotta find a way in, though. It's a little complicated. Yeah, just, just hang on. I just gotta find this. I'm just reminded... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about, like, overpowered Mad Samus, and it just reminded me of a terminal montage visual gag. <laughs> Where Samus, Ticket strips! where she's walking up to an opponent and, like, pulls up the sleeve of the arm cannon, but <laughs> yeah. it's just like cr crumpling up, it's just like showing a muscular arm. About <laughs> <laughs> to beat the crap out. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, here we are. So, which pirate did you think had the bright idea to put a uh, ice beam door? in the opening of this place. The one guy who's regretting his decision right now. What do you mean I can't get back in? Oh. Anybody have an ice beam? Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of... That's infection. Yeah. It seems like the Phazon's already kind of taken hold here. Mm-hmm. Who spilled the jelly everywhere? Ugh. Ugh. It's gross, mm -hmm. nasty shit. Ugh. Blech. Yuck. God, does nobody clean around here? I don't think they've had room. Oh, that's true. Ah! Uh, hi. I come in peace. Ow. Maybe the pirates aren't here yet. But they're, but they're sniffing around still, that's for sure. Ah, oh, smells like mold. Uh huh. You gotta power this place up. Uh, did it work? Yeah. Oh. So we gotta... Hit a mm. couple more conduits, I where, think. Where is... Where is more power? Oh, 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 oh there we go. It's All an right. automatic door. <laughs> Oops. Oh, uh, I see. I'm not used to this kind of technology. <laughs> <laughs> the advanced technology of... Door. The, these things are new. These are talon crabs. Ew. Oh, they're infected. Yeah. They're in swarms, which means they're probably going to hurt more than the regular parasites do. So, uh, just blast away. No, wait, they're a food source. Ah! I'm not hungry. Oh, okay, true. Besides, there's fish here. No, they look... They, actually, these fish look a very sickly shade of blue. I was about to say, they look radioactive. Are you sure you <laughs> want to take a bite I, out I, of that? I think this place might be dangerous. To the wildlife or to you? Uh, uh, we're, we're gonna be heading deeper and deeper into the source of the phase on here. What the hell is this? It's an aqua pirate. Oh. They can't breathe underwater, so they gotta use their own gravity suit. That's pretty smart, actually. You can use thermal tracking if you want to, but uh, I've got a lock on him. He's fine. Besides, just the same as any other pirate. Ice beam and missile I was usually, about to say, does, yeah. usually does the job. But they're very quick underwater, so just freeze gotta, and eh, leave. There we go, and dead, dead. Da! What the? Oh, it's, it's, they always come in packs, though. Never alone. 
Oh, the ice beam shoots so slow. I guess that's the one way to nerf it. But it's so powerful, though. It is, yeah. You get a direct hit. There ain't right, no coming back from that. I think I gotta get him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Just to leave a message to the space pirates, she leaves one of them frozen. As he's just sitting there, looking around, desperately trying to escape his new icy prison. No one is there, because every other pirate is dead. Tell them what you saw here today, and hurry quick, before the ice freezes your throat shut! <laughs> if she were, like, dark and brooding. I, I, I think she's just cold and unfeeling when she kills. Well, I mean, after you do it for so long, it kinda... kinda loses the appeal. That's why you learn to do new, different ways of killing. With all the brooding that Other M does, you know, never wants to Samus think about the path of death and destruction she walks. Well, I mean, they're I've animals. They're disposable. I've slain so many, and there's no way that someone like me would be fit for motherhood because of my, of my penchant to violence. Oh my god, maybe she is a psychopath. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 get, all right. Let's get away from other M. A lot of serial this killers start from, by killing animals. Got distracted me from. Oh my the god! Good, the good game. Samus is a monster. Yes, yeah, no, she, she, she's, she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. It's okay. Just like Kirby's a monster. Every single Nintendo hero is a monster. That's your game theory for today. Yeah. I haven't had any game theory jokes in a while. I was enjoying myself. <laughs> there are two nearby power conduits. First off, there's a save room in here. Oh, is it? Yes, give me. This one hasn't been infected by space ooze yet. Ah! What do you think the secret of the ooze is? Which ooze? The ooze. The one that's making these radioactive fish. It's Phazon. But what if it was just the Ivan ooze? What if it was the ooze from TMNT2? Yes! The Phazon would eat it. What if we made it just be more Phazon? What if we just made a Super Shredder? Then it'd be infected by Phazon. It'd be Dark Super Shredder. Dark. Oh, that actually sounds cool. Here's cool. It's another energy tank. In case you're hurting for one. I mean, you already got heal with the save station, so why would you need it? But... Yes. But hey, more health equals more opportunities to kill the ooze. Oh, I hate, I hate this part. Is it timed? No, it's not timed, but uh, there's conduits that you have to deal with. Oh, and the, the, my, my suit is uh, yelling me at where to go now. Incoming call. I know where I'm going. All right, active transport. Okay, it's 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 on the way. The phase on mines. That's dangerous. That's extremely dangerous. The phase on mines are d are the direct source of where the pirates are getting their phase on. It's not the research facility where they're studying the phase on. It's not oh. this place where it's just a, a wrecked ship. It is quite literally where they are getting their phase on from. And we're gonna go right into the heart of it. So fun fact. Yeah. I have not seen this yet. Well. Which means I stopped after getting the ice beam. So you know about the ice beam, then? I did- I did know about the ice beam. Did you ever get the grapple beam? I never got the grapple beam. So you never got back to full strength. That doesn't bode well. Well, at least now, this is all new and exciting and interesting. It wasn't interesting before? No, it was a complete slot. No, I'm kidding. Okay, alright. <laughs> okay, you're fired! <laughs> By the way, nice little detail, that pirate did not have a heat signature, he's been dead for a while. Or he just died. Or he just died. Whenever things die... They lose their heat signature. Well, it still takes a gradual decrease in heat. Nope, it just popped dead. Oh. Instantly cold. Which is morbid when you think about it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. So looking familiar. Oh, there's so much phase on everywhere. Do you mind? I'm trying to look around. And yet, the turret is not shooting phase on. Don't you hate rude cameras? What gives? It's like, I want to go somewhere, and then a camera goes, <laughs> Oh, you can't do that. Yeah, we call them vloggers. <laughs> Uh-oh. I hear somebody trying to sell oh, me something! Yeah, okay, that's... This is a new... Uh, this is a, it's an aqua drone. Uh, what? It's a security drone except water. Who's thinking that these would be useful in the near future? Duh. Unless these are, like, natural beings, in which case... 
What? No, apparently the pirates made him this way. I mean, we, we saw that pirate. They're around here. Well, okay. Wait, we've already fought one of these. Because doesn't it, like, release an EMP after death? That was a security drone. These are the Aqua variety. Oh. They made them weak to electrical attacks, but hey, ice still works fine. Ooh, it's Cardite! I wonder if there's a missile pack in there. Please? Uh, boom! I probably could use a regular missile. Missile tank. Yeah. Alright. So far, so good. Have you ever had dreams where you're drowning? Uh, a couple. Have you ever had dreams where you actually survive underwater? Uh, a couple. Let's just say I've been having some strange nightmares lately. <laughs> Don't go back in the water. Don't go back in the water! Maybe it means you have to pee. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> You're drowning in your own bladder. <laughs> <laughs> and then Niskel became drowning in piss. And that's how he died. What's worse, drowning in piss or drowning in your own piss? I think it's because it's one last middle finger to myself drowning in my own piss. Because mm. it's just like, I made my own death. That was me. I drank my bed, now sleep in it. <laughs> what? Drink. I drank all of my water bed. <laughs> One thing about owning a cat, whenever I wake up, he is in the worst possible spot. Especially when, you know, you have the water dreams, you need to not drown in your own piss. And he's just there in your way. And you don't want to disturb him because he's so cute. It's like I'm drowning in my own piss, but I don't I don't I don't wanna Can you I don't wanna bother please him. Please move! You should see the acrobatics it takes me to actually get out of my own bed. But not only that, get out from under the blanket in a way that does not s disturb the boy, and then I'm able to get out of the way. There's one more around here, I think. I was looking at fish. Oh, there's conduits. There's just conduits everywhere, like the whole power's off or something. I like looking at fish. These pirates are hanging around here, and they don't have the good grace to turn things on. How'd they even get in here if the power's off? They've been trapped in here, so they had to develop aqua suits in order to survive. And then I come in here, and they're half starved, half crazed out of your, out of their minds. Hmm. And like, who says Nintendo games are for kids? This is rated T. Okay, not for kids. I mean, 3D Metroids are best when they're rated T. Is Metroid Dread rated E? Oh no. Rated T. I I believe it's rated T. Yes. Nice. I think uh, Samus Returns rated E10. That makes sense. It's not nearly as. And the 2D Metroids of 2D Metroids have been uh, rated E except for Dread. Well, I, I don't know what Super Metroids rated now. It could be E10 now, for all we know. Yeah, I wonder. It makes sense because <clears throat> it's. Wasn't Kirby and the Crystal Shards retroactively rated T? No, it's rated T because Nintendo Switch Online for Nintendo 64 as a whole is rated T. Okay. Because some of that imagery in the Crystal Shards was actually t would actually terrify me as a kid. It's it's just uh, you know it'd, it'd probably be rated E10 you know nowadays, but it's rated T only because they have T-rated games in there like Winback or whatever. Gotcha. God, the internet gets the wrong idea immediately. Because they latch to one idea that sounds you know crazy, and then they just go with it. Misinformation spreads. Sounds good to me. Oh, well. Oh, gee. All right, some, something is going on down there. I'd, uh, Something's munching on some uh, some space pirates down what we, there. What we got here? It's an aqua sack. <laughs> burst it. Burst it. It's burst basically it. just a, a thing that carries things underwater in this place. Well, time to become Dr. Pimple Popper. Yeah. Ugh. The whole channel is just an eyesore. <laughs> How many shows about little people are they gonna make? How many shows about people of size are they gonna make? 
Until it's no longer funny to laugh at fat people. Ugh. People have been laughing at me for ten years. Oh, that's new to me. I didn't know people laughed at you. <laughs> that was a good one! <laughs> I enjoyed the joke! So you gotta kind of do a little bit of like a triple bomb God, jump to get so this cool. one. Yeah. That's so cool! The only thing to worry about is time for that one, because there's no, like, penalty. You don't, you don't lose damage or whatever. Yeah, what a great idea. Oh, that's so neat. Yeah. So, wait a minute. If we're in the gravity suit, and we don't move... Well, we move normally in water. Why does the ball form move like it's in water? Because we were on aqua jets there. That's why you're moving so differently. Ah, thank God I held my breath the entire time. Would you believe we're still in the Talon Overworld? Scoozy? Yeah, we're still we're still in Talon Overworld. We didn't make it through the ship, or we made it through the ship. We're just still in Talon Overworld. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. But here in this area, there are uh, it's basically two elevators. One to the Phazon Mines, and one that takes you to the south of Chozo Ruins. But well, let's open this place up a little bit. I like opening places up. No idea where that was going. Just break the plant. Thank it's you. just gonna stay where it is. That's just where. That's just, just where it's gonna stay. Awkwardly, just sitting there. Just, just stay right there. Don't move. Just like waiting for a date to show up that'll never show up. Joe's a ruined south. Yep. Excellent. A little pop in here and uh, give a quick look. <laughs> Elevator door opens. Left. Right? Okay, cool. We're basically here to open things up. Are we opening shortcuts right now? Yeah, that's essentially what this is. Oh, hey! I recognize this place. Yeah. You see there? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's where we got the ice beam. Yeah. So now that's open, I think, uh... I think that's, uh, that's cleared now. So I think what happened is... D does this elevator open from both ends? See, uh, I think the reason I may have done this... ...was because that door doesn't open from that, from that side. Because this would have been t way too easy of a shortcut, and we would have, uh, missed all of this wonderful wrecked ship business. Right, so I'm thinking, after I got the ice beam, I tried to come through the back... And it was locked out. Well, now we're gonna get to a place you haven't been to before. Finally. I'm so intrigued by Metroid Prime, even though I'm terrible at it. Well, if you know where to go, ah. you might you might do a little better. I, I've been thinking of playing this alongside, but I've got so much to do that there would be no time. If you if you do it, do it if do it when you're having fun. Yeah. Intense radiation detected. Jump into it. Oh. See if it's fibbing. That is pure raw phase on right there. Means if you jump into that, mm. it will it will hurt. Mm. We're about to go right into where they mine the shit. Oh no. Where they find the goop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Down we go. It's like, yeah, we yeah, we have a super cancer fungus growing underneath this, the, uh, uh, the, the Earth's surface. Let's go ahead and mine it. Let's just slop it up there. Let's, the let's just put it in a burlap sack, <laughs> put it in a room, and start rubbing it on on every everything yeah. we see around here. Put it on the rocks, put it on the birds, put it on the bees, put it on the plants. Oh, is that a Metroid? I'm gonna, here, here let's feed it. Oh... Oh, I can feel the radiation. Uh, Welcome to the phase on mines. Uh, uh, this is where the pirates are. Well, this is where most of them are still at, because I think I've killed most of them at this point. I took out the research station. I took out most of their uh, most of their bases around here. Uh, they, they were hanging around in the in the wrecked ship. I took care of that. Apparently, they ha you took out their uh, people who communicate between compounds because nobody knows you're coming. I have basically took... I'm, the, I'm, I'm at their last bastion now. 
So we gotta go to the central dynamo there. Hmm. Shut this whole thing down. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Ah, ah, we, won't, ah, ah. we won't be digging into much of this today. But uh, just know that all the space pirates are here and they're uh, a little upset that I'm here. I, this, this is like their last line of defense. What? Why would they be upset? You're they, their they best get, they've friend. Got, they've got mega turrets now. They really want to keep me out. <laughs> they're, they're so pissed off I keep blowing up their, their, their turrets. They, they made put, better they ones. Entire, they put a fucking cannon on there. <laughs> It's like, that's great, but I already got the ice Ow! weapon, guys. So, uh, you know, I, I, I guess I can use the wave beam to make it go crazy, but, uh, really, it just... Nothing beats the ice beam! Oh my god, the ice beam destroys all! Just charge up charge up the ice beam until it freezes, and then fire a missile. Well, uh, a few missiles. Need a couple missiles, there but go. there you go! That's hilarious. And I can just hear one pyrotechnician! Damn it! Just... Da Do I gotta put a mini nuke onto one of them?! That is one frustrated pirate. I hope he's the one that survives. Like, after all this, he needs to be the only one left. Because, my god, what a kick in the face. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme safe spot. Yes! Well. Next time. On Metroid Prime. We're gonna be delving into the Phazon Mines. And opening up the rest of the map. And getting everything else. Wow. We we have we have passed the halfway point. Holy crap! And now all it's left to do is get our old get get our old equipment back, find a whole bunch of missile expansions, and uh, just uh, keep getting our shit back so we can take down the space pirates. That's just satisfying. Yeah, right it's, there. It, it's it's just nice to see. Though it doesn't last long, though. Oh well. Just like my happiness. See you next time.